Welcome folks, this is Wear and Tear, yet another Outdoor and Gear You channel. Today I'm coming at you with a tutorial about the Mavic Mini. Uh, specifically, if you have a problem with wobble in your picture. Uh, you see in the drone footage here, there is a noticeable wobble in the middle of the picture. I had that problem a few weeks ago. Uh, that basically makes the material totally unusable. Now, at this flight, I realized it's not always present, but it's present in certain flight condition, uh, forward flight uh, at a certain speed. And some of the footage was usable, other parts of the footage were completely unusable. So that's pretty interesting because I have crashed my drone before and I had damage on the gimbal, and that looks a little bit different when you have actual gimbal damage. So I uh, went to troubleshoot my drone. First of all, the first thing that I checked were the props. Now, damage on the props can cause excessive vibration, but this is pretty easy to discern. You just start the drone and you listen uh, if, there, if, if there is a sound. Um, if the props are somehow out of balance, uh, you should be already no noticeable on the ground. Uh, maybe if there is a weird vibration coming from one of the motors, if, if one of the motors is not okay, you can have the drone start, hover, and then gently touch the underside and see if any single one of those motors is not doing, doing as it should, if there's some kind of difference. But that is not a very likely problem because uh, the drone will tell you there is a malfunction with one of the motors, there is something not right with the RPMs or something like that. But it's generally good to check the props from time to time, although I have seen this drone fly with heavily damaged props. Now the next step is of course you check your gimbal. And basically you turn on the drone and every time the drone comes on, it does a prop check, and then the gimbal comes on, okay? And you can quickly discern whether you have a working gimbal or not by just observing the gimbal, whether it reacts or not properly. And if you have a damage on the actual gimbal, maybe you can hear the motors, uh, the gimbal motors might make a slight high-pitched sound. That can happen. But in general, if the gimbal moves okay and, and seems to react normal, then it's probably not a gimbal problem either. Like here you can see the gimbal works just fine. It's the typical normal gimbal function. So that's already good news. You might not have a mechanical problem with the gimbal itself. Now another aspect that might happen turn it off because we don't want to overheat the gimbal motors uh, you see this these rubber elements in there maybe the rubber element broke maybe it became disconnected somehow that could happen these rubber elements do the fine dampening and they take away a lot of the high-pitched vibration when the drone flies so the gimbal doesn't have to, to work so much. But if that damper is okay, if the gimbal motors work or seem to work okay, then you need to go into the software. And the first thing you do, you make sure, of course, uh, <clears throat> that you have your gimbal calibrated. So you calibrate your gimbal, and then you calibrate the IMU. Those are the sensors that tell in which position the drone is actually in space. So this, the whole spatial awareness of the drone hangs on the IMU. You do a good calibration of the IMU, do a second calibration, do a third calibration if necessary, you know. Just calibrate the IMU like, uh, like you baby a little kitten. Do that very diligently. And if you're not sure if you did a perfect calibration on flat ground, and do it again. So you calibrate, uh, you calibrate the gimbal, you calibrate the IMU, you make sure the compass is calibrated, and then you also format the SD card. So and that's basically, I did all of these things, and now the footage again is smooth. 
it's still not absolutely perfect, but this drone has gone through a whole lot. And uh, maybe I just need to do an additional calibration, but the footage is not absolutely okay. It's, it's not perfect, but it's really okay. It's perfectly usable, usable and serviceable. And from time to time, you can have a slight uh, instability in the picture. But make sure, first of all, the mechanical side of things, the props, listen to the motors, then look at the mechanical aspect of the gimbal, look at the shock absorber of the gimbal, then you go into the software side of things, make sure the compass is always calibrated, uh, make sure the IMU is calibrated, make sure the gimbal is calibrated, and then also format the SD card. I think in my case, it was necessary to calibrate the IMU, um, although I said it's okay, but I did all these things and now the wobble is gone and it doesn't hurt, you know, it's not exact. I'm not 100% sure what fixed the problem, at least for now. It's most likely the calibration of the sensors, but uh, it definitely doesn't hurt. So this is how I got rid of my wobble and I'm pretty confident unless you have really gotten some kind of mechanical damage um, that you will be able to fix your drone this way. Now, mechanical damage at the gimbal, you always have a problem. It's visible in every, no matter how you move around. It, it's, it's pretty, you can easily reproduce. You, you see, you don't get stable, good footage. You see that there is obviously a mechanical damage. If you just have a, 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 a wobble in a part of a picture in certain, when you fly a certain way, yeah, you know, it might be something else. Might be, maybe really, it might be really the case that the drone is, is not sure uh, about the calibration, that the sensor input in that particular flight instance is wrong. So yeah, the Mavic Mini, that is quite a drone. It's still going strong after all those years. This was wear and tear over and out.